All right, well, let's move to Cape Town now and on to other news. A prominent criminal lawyer has reportedly survived an assassination attempt at his home. Let's chat to our reporter, Monique Motlock. She's got some information on that. Monique, a very good morning to you. What do we know about this lawyer and what happened? What we do know is we have spoken or um, asked police for um, confirmation that the shooting happened. I'm just going to, before I tell you some details about it, I'm just going to step out of shot so you can see what's happening behind us. The road leading up to the house has been cordoned off. Quite a big chunk of the road has been cordoned off. Actually, I just saw the lawyer coming out of his house. Right now, I'm not sure if, if um, the taxi that is blocking our view, if, it, if our camera... If my colleague can show you the lawyer, he is unharmed. According to police, several shots were fired at him at about half past seven this morning. It's believed that two armed suspects had approached his house. And what we've heard from um, some people is that, uh, for, from neighbors, that four, about four gunshots rang out this morning. He was unharmed. Um, apparently, they only shot at his car. We are still awaiting confirmation on whether um, those shots did in fact make contact with the car. Um, we do know that he wasn't shot at. In fact, I mean, I can see him from where I'm standing. The taxi is blocking him at the moment. Um, we can't yet name him until we have uh, confirmed with him. I have been in contact with him via text messaging just to ask him if he's okay, if he can confirm whether it was him. Um, obviously, he's been mm. busy dealing with police and detectives, so he hasn't yet been able to decide respond to us only to say um, he can't speak right this moment yeah. um, but as you can see behind me lots of activity happening all right well Monique I know that we aren't able to identify the lawyer at the moment although you know who he is uh, right now but can you give us some idea I mean the kind of work that he does the kind of cases he deals with would he be would this have been considered possibly a hit linked to a case Attempted hit. Yes, most yes. definitely. Um, this lawyer, like th this, this lawyer, like many others that we've seen over the years, like your Pete Mihalik, he defended um, quite high-profile um, criminals in the high court, in the lower courts, like in the magistrates' courts. Um, and it's likely that, I mean, over the years, he may have uh, run into some of the wrong crowd people who might not um, like the people that he has represented, without trying to give too much away of the type of people that he has um, represented over the years, one of them being a foreigner who was accused uh, of killing his girlfriend in a Cape Town hotel a few years ago. That was one of his more recent cases. And um, what we have heard is that no one else was injured, just like him. He wasn't shot at at all. Um, what I've heard from him is he's um, okay, but obviously can't talk to us right now. Mm. But yes, it is one of those um, lawyers that has been in the media um, over the years quite prominently. He has never shied away from speaking out about some of the cases that he's worked on. Um, whenever we would need a quote, he would be one of those people who would always be willing to chat to us when we as yeah. the media would need him. All right, and I know it's still early hours and this has just happened just a, a short while ago, Monique, but what do we know about maybe extra security around him now or, you know, and, and, and the safety of his family as well at this point? At this point, we have seen armed security patrolling this area, this specific road. Um, we've also seen several police vehicles. And as I mentioned before, the, a large section of the road has been closed off. In fact, when we arrived here earlier this morning, we weren't able to get too close to the house. And um, then police moved us back even a bit more um, just to make sure that we are f as far away from the house as possible. Um, we have seen uh, several other of my media colleagues arriving at the scene but all of us obviously being kept at a distance by the high by the um, intense contingent of police vehicles 
something that's interesting to note is as we were on our way to this specific area we were stopped in a road block as you know uh, the road blocks have been set up across the the country in different spots to ensure that people are abiding to those lockdown rules, that people aren't driving with the permit. So one question that one needs to ask mm. is how did these mm. perpetrators manage to get as close as they did to the house? Because in order to get here, you need to go through that road block unless they use one of the smaller um, roads leading up to this road, which means clearly they knew how to get around mm. this area. And because of the fact that they were wearing the surgical mask, they obviously knew that was their one shot at not getting recognized and they have fled the scene police are in search of them all right well very worrying indeed that uh, last point that you mentioned thanks very much monique motlock she'll continue to keep an eye on that story